Well, right now, there are more than 14,500 positive cases of COVID-19 in the state of Florida, and the death toll now stands at 283. Palm Beach County has more than 1,000 cases with 63 deaths. As the virus spreads, our community is taking precautions by using gloves and masks when grocery shopping. But as many of us have noticed, a lot of people aren't throwing those gloves and masks in the trash can after using them. Yeah, instead, they are ending up in parking lots and on the floor. Our Christian Chapman shares why experts say it's not only a health problem for humans, but it's bad for the environment. It's become part of the norm during these coronavirus concerns. Gloves going on before touching the cart at the grocery store. But it's what happens after using them that has shoppers complaining. I've kind of been seeing them everywhere right now. All over social media, images like these, gloves and masks littering the ground. And we saw this at several spots around West Palm Beach. Now that we're trying to take care of ourselves, that we're not trying to take care of the environment too, and kind of just leaving these things all over the place. And she's right about the environmental concerns. For Ocean CEO Alex Schultz says the plastics used in these gloves can take years to decompose, and there's a high likelihood they could end up in our beautiful ocean. It's incredibly dangerous because fish and wildlife can ingest the plastic. Not only is this litter harmful to sea life, an infectious disease specialist at Good Samaritan Medical Center says the coronavirus can live on plastics for many hours, which means the items meant to protect one person can actually infect another when thrown on the ground. Wasteful in many, many aspects and ex potentially exposing other folks to infection because the virus thrives on plastic. And look, the solution is not hard. Just pick up your gloves, and throw them away. If you want to go glove free altogether, Dr. De Almeida says washing your hands with soap and water or using hand sanitizer is the most effective at killing the virus. Reporting from West Palm Beach, Kristen Chapman, CBS 12 News.